accessory purchase of the S2 15 series vehicle. It's an electrical drift car. I, what the heck is a drift car? Capable of keeping balance by itself. Safe use. We all hope drivers can drive the thing safely and enjoy pleasures brought by. Please guys, enjoy your pleasures from this product. Oh, then we have a remote. So it's got a lock button, an unlock button, an alarm button by the sounds of it, and a speed button for beginner and fast mode, I guess. That's pretty cool. I'll probably put that on my keys if this product works out for me. The most exciting part that everybody has been waiting for. Oh my gosh, they included this bag for free. And you know what? I gotta give the eBay seller props. They said it would arrive before Christmas. It was scheduled to arrive on the 30th, and it arrived way before. I feel like I'm going to play tennis. Um, what does it say? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be carrying around my S215B while I go to college. Hey guys, you wanna ride my S215B? Hold on guys, I gotta put my S215B away real quick. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, here we go now. Oh my gosh, guys. This thing is crazy heavy. I already just kind of feeling this product out right now. The pads, they feel cool. They feel, but they all, they do feel kind of like childish rubber. We have the S215B as they call it. Oh, those are some, those feel like pretty good quality tires, you guys. Before you drive the balanced car, please read and follow the instructions and warnings carefully. So, I mean, if there was any place you would want to have proper English, it's probably on the warning sticker. It is prohibited to drive in the use of stimulants or alcohol. It's prohibited because this is a car, of course. It is prohibited to drive the balanced car in the street or the place where are many people. <laughs> so we're just not supposed to drive it anywhere then, huh? If some problems encountered in the process of use, please contact the dealer or manufacturer. Yeah, good luck with that. Ah, uh, so <clears throat> noticing something here, I thought this was waterproof. Where's the little where's the little mud cap for this? Pretty sure there was supposed to be a mud cap of some sort to protect that. Oh, maybe it's right here actually. What is this? Oh, I just turned it on. Oh uh, yeah, we got about three feet of uh, runway space here in my room. So, we'll have to go with it for now. Oh, frick! This is weird. Oh, frick. I think that means it has a low battery. All oh, right, so here's the charger. I have a similar cord to this one that actually plugs into this brick, but because there's so many safety stuff going on right now with this hoverboard, I'm just gonna stick to the original wires. I actually plugged it into a power strip too, uh, just to make sure that all the electrical regulations and stuff are all good. Quality of the plastic, it definitely just feels like hollow, hollow, hollow plastic not good quality at all. I mean, it just feels cheap as can be. Now the rim, this actually feels like aluminum, this, these rims do, so that's kind of neat. Very cool design on the rims, like Lamborghini. Now these are where the LEDs come out of. The LEDs are kind of annoying because as far as I know, you can't turn them off. The little lights come out of here showing you the battery status, so that's pretty cool. Overall, it feels, it feels pretty hefty. Like, it feels like I could carry this around a little bit. I wouldn't, definitely not even on the mud covers, want to bang this around on anything. Just kind of enjoy it and use it to get from point A to point B, I think is the purpose of this board. But, yeah, we'll let, we'll let her charge and look at it in a little while. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. Whoa. Freaking weird. You just kind of push in the direction you want to go, and with your ankles, and you go that direction. And it's so quick and snappy that it just feels like a connection to your body. Like, like, dang. Let me just keep it out my feet here. Yeah, this feels just pretty cool. It feels amazing, actually. 
Hey, thank you guys so much for watching my impressions and unboxing of this Segway hoverboard. Um, it's a really awesome product, very happy to own it and have purchased it. So if you're looking for that product, you can find that on eBay for about $375. There's definitely cheaper boards out there that are pretty much the same specs. The Bluetooth speaker I did not cover because it's really nothing to call home about. If you can pull out your phone and play a song on your tinny little speaker, that's about what it sounds like, except a little bit louder. It takes about two to three hours to fully charge. I've been using it probably about a total of 45 minutes of usage and haven't charged it yet. This hasn't even changed from green to yellow on the battery indicator. I actually took it over to my girlfriend's for a Christmas, a Christmas get together and some people decided to try it out and ride it. Within the first five minutes, pretty much everybody got the, got the hang of it. So really easy concept to grasp for just about anybody and it's a lot of fun for everybody. Just make sure if you do buy one of these, you follow the battery precautions and do not overcharge it. Do not leave it charging overnight. Do not puncture the battery in any way by running it into objects, or if a piece of the hoverboard breaks off, make sure you're, you hear any sort of um, shaking inside the board that could be a part of the board that came off that could potentially puncture the battery. So just some safety stuff so that it doesn't explode under your feet, because it literally would probably be like a little grenade blowing up. Would not be very nice. <clears throat> I hope you guys had an awesome holiday season with your family. I hope you guys all have something to be thankful for. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I will see all of you guys in a future video. Peace.